about eight o'clock in the morning. It's just a beautiful morning to be hunting. Yeah, look out here and it looks like Eastern Colorado, uh, but we're about an hour north of Cape Town, South Africa. This is all open range, this is farm country. These are the fences, there's a lot of sheep in here, a lot of cattle, a lot of ostriches too. But uh, the bush bucks, the Cape Kudu, these animals live in these valleys. And this is just like whitetail hunting back home. Bushbuck are known to be along the river system. They also exist on the mountains here in South Africa particularly. It's strange places where you might not expect them. It rained all day yesterday and last night, so it's wet. And we felt like we weren't going to have any luck in the water holes. Plus, it's more windy, which might lead us where the stock could use the wind or fans. Well, stalking bush bucks in this country can be pretty tricky. Where they hide in these brushy draws makes perfect stalking cover when they're out in these open fields. Stalking Cape bush buck in farm country is pretty cool. But you know, bush bucks live all over Southern Africa and there are many subspecies. I had the opportunity to go to Zambia to hunt hippopotamus and there are Chobe bush bucks there. I took along a couple of tree stands and we set up a stand along the Luangwa River. And the hunt got pretty exciting. Zambia's Luangwa River is a magical ecosystem. In this region of wild Africa, there's a delicate balance between the protected elephants who eat upwards of 300 pounds of vegetation per day and the bush animals who also inhabit the corridor. Elephant foraging opens up the forest, resulting in more predation from lion and leopard, making the valley a rich big game area. Dr. Kevin Robertson. In areas that can be a species that is under threat, the mere fact that under threat is because of elephant overpopulation and loss of habitat. When their, their dense river on areas are being overgrazed, they're vulnerable to predation because they are vulnerable to leopard and wild dogs and even lions because they lose the cover of what they need for protection. And they basically lose their habitat. What a spot. What an incredible spot to hunt. The Luangwa River in Zambia. Chobe bushbuck heaven. I have seen 15 shooter bushbucks come down to the river to water. Sweet tree stand spot right there. 100 yards from the Luangwa River in Zambia. What a place. Shot that bush buck at 22 yards. He circles right around here and piles up in the grass right over here, not 30 yards from the stand. The white spots. This is a nice one, too. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. We've seen some bigger ones. They were out of bow range. One thing about bow hunting, they got to be close. I like that 35 yards or closer. This one was 22 yards. It didn't go 30 yards from the tree. When you're on the ground and you're moving, you've got to be as quiet as possible and keep the wind right, and you've got to see the animal before he sees you. If you get the wind in your face and you move slow, it'll give you an opportunity to maybe get in range of a bush buck.
I'm not sure exactly what all we got on video, but I know one thing. From my point of view, it was very, very exciting, very challenging hunt. I'm really thankful to get the opportunity to be here. This uh, is like whitetail hunting on the ground. I mean, pretty crazy. I heard him go down. Uh, I've actually found him here. Let's go take a look at a Cape Bush buck of a lifetime. Oh my goodness. Matthew's Creed. See the exit hole right here. But look at this warrior. This is a Cape Bush buck. Look at his nose. Look, he's a battler. Scars. Look at the white patches on his throat and the white spots here on his cheeks. Just beautiful, chocolate brown. What a challenge. What a fantastic hunt. You know, I love bow hunting and this is why. Look at that. It doesn't get any better.